Okay, so today I am going to talk about uh, dysphoria. So you're probably wondering what is this picture of the, the swan hand? Well, actually, it is not. It is not my picture, but it is related to a story similar. Um, I was with a friend one time, and we made our hands into these these shapes, like like birds. Like you're holding it, like it is a bird's face, and we would, you know, and nuzzle it ag against each other, and then, you know, pretending that that we are doing these bird uh, gestures, and that made us feel like the most comfortable that we had felt really during that time that we were together. We had been trying to do these this human gestures and not really been working. And when we simply expressed ourselves in this way, although it looks very silly, uh, we felt a lot more comfortable with ourselves. Um, and this is related to dysphoria. Dysphoria is described in the dictionary as a state of feeling unwell or unhappy, a feeling of emotional and mental discomfort and suffering. But often when we talk about dysphoria connected to identity, we mean this emotional and mental discomfort is connected with the feeling of, of being in a wrong physical body, being, being afraid or ashamed of, of your body or even hating your body and wanting desperately to be in a body that is more like you feel like, as a way to express yourself and express with other people is an important part of a social life. So that comes to the point where you might even feel more comfortable doing something very silly, like using your hand to express your feelings or, or a costume. Now, if you've ever seen a furry documentary about a about furry community, you know that the documentaries what they tend to be quite extreme. So often they will talk about furries who are on, uh, or people think as the extreme end of, of the scale in, in behavior. They will talk about furries who like to dress in a fursuit or a big plushy costume. And most of the time they look about as silly as it does, you know, if you're making a gesture with your hand. Um, but you will notice one thing that you will hear in those interviews they usually will say something like, I feel more like myself when I am wearing the fursuit, or it helps me to really express my me, my identity. <clears throat> and uh, that's what people with this kind of body dysphoria feels like. <clears throat> we feel like anything is better than using our human physical bodies for people to see us, even if it's a costume or, or a hand movement, we feel like that is expressing more of the, the real, the real who we are. We feel this, this desperate need to become physically ourselves that we see in our mind. And when we can't do that, because obviously that is not possible for us, we use any way to try to show that to people. So we would wear masks or paint our face or wear a collar or howling and making animal sounds or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now it's important to note, not all Therians who wear a fursuit, or furries who wear a fursuit, or, or all Therians in general are feeling dysphoria. Um, in fact, it's not a very common topic to talk in the Therian community, and that is part of why I make this video. Um, but for the ones who do, it is really the this only way that we can feel comfortable with our bodies for a little time. And even then, it's not really very good because it doesn't look real, it looks silly, and we know it's not real. But uh, we have so much stress with our bodies and so much uh, feeling of wrong, sometimes it's down to that or something, a uh, much worse coping mechanism like a self-injury or self, self-harm. Because this looks silly, but don't make a mistake, dysphoria is very serious. I have uh, personally experienced uh, eating disorder from dysphoria. I have experienced self-harm from dysphoria. And m many people, you will see, they consider suicide for dysphoria. And often you're talking on the Therian community's forums and you will see people are talking about, I want to kill myself because of this dysphoria feeling. And you can't take that as lightly. So it's not a silly thing, the feeling of wanting to be right with your body. 
because in society we go around all day and the world uh, looks at us and they tell who we are by our bodies. They think that when you look at your body, you know everything about you. And it, it's wrong because it's not like that. People can be very different from their bodies, but the body has so much power. People want to make the body look like the self and they want to be in the body that looks and feels like the self. And if they can't do that, it's a big psychological stress. We can't, as Therians, we can't ever change our bodies to look like how we want. There is no surgery or help, and that can be a big source of stress for us. It's more than you can think. So that's it for this time. I have some ideas for a second video, because I don't think I talked about everything I want to talk about, about dysphoria. But I'm going to just end this one here for now and try to make it a bit shorter. So.